To me, 2022 was one of the best years I've ever experienced for Commander. I got the opportunity to play against so many new different Commanders. I got the ability to build so many different and new Commanders. And in today's video, we're going to talk about my favorite Commander from the year 2022. Thank you guys for being here. My name is Coach. If you're here and you are subscribed to the channel, I just want to take a moment to say thank you for being subscribed. I genuinely appreciate it. You can like this video and remember to subscribe. It's just a quick and easy way to say thank you for me making this video. Now, the commander that we're talking about is quite the boogeyman in my playgroup now. I think that every time during commander legends pre-release i played against this commander it quickly became extremely oppressive and i was like man this commander when i first saw it i didn't think anything of it and then i was like i had to build it and then i built it and now it is what it is now and it's just a an extremely fun commander and that commander is gut the true soul zealot now when we take a look at gut Gut has the ability, and it says whenever you attack, you may sacrifice another creature or artifact. If you do, create a 4-1 skeleton with menace that's tapped and attacking. Now, it also does say choose a background on Gut, which essentially means add an enchantment to the command zone. And the enchantment that we added into the command zone is called the Dragon Cultist. Now, the Dragon Cultist, which is kind of funny because it's very similar to Gut. Gut creates tokens. The Dragon Cultist says that if you can deal five or more damage this turn, you create a 4-4 Red Dragon with flying. So we're talking about creating tokens here. Now, the thing is that the tokens that we're creating are not just four power each. We're talking about a 4-1 with Menace. So it has some set, some type of evasion. And then we also have this dragon here with flying. So it has evasion. So what ends up happening is that when you're playing this commander deck, it's really easy to deal damage to your opponents. Now, the thing is that you have to get the engine running. Now, in order to get the dragon, you need to deal at least five damage. So your skeletons that you're attacking with only have four power. So lucky enough for us, there are cards that buff our creatures by one. So the first card that we're gonna show off here is the Goblin Aura Flame. It's gonna buff our creatures by one. Angrath's Marauders is gonna double our damage so that the skeletons deal eight damage, which is gonna allow us to create a dragon. Ferocity of the Wilds buffs by one, gives Trample. Instigator Gang buffs by one, doubles our damage, buffs by one. So if you're thinking about building this commander deck, it's going to be really important for you to put the cards inside the deck that buff your creatures so that you can get your engine going. Because the reality is that when you get this engine going, if you take a look at this over here, let's count the damage here, right? So if we trigger gut, right, and we have a 4-1, well, technically a 5-1 attacking with menace, let's say that deals damage. So that's five damage in one turn. At the end of our turn with Dragon Cultist on the battlefield, we're going to create a dragon. Now, we have five damage on the board here, and then we also have five more damage on the board over here. What ends up happening is that we're going to go to our next turn. And in our next turn, we're going to go ahead and go to our combat step. We're going to attack and we're going to create another skeleton off of Guts Trigger, which is going to deal five damage with the original skeleton, five damage with the new skeleton, and then five damage with the dragon, which is 15 damage, right? If you add that up from the five damage that we dealt before, in two turns, we've dealt 20 evasive damage which if we get another turn 
is going to quickly add up to 40, which means in three turns, you put yourself in a position where you can knock one person out of the game. So we're talking about something, an engine here that exists in our command zone. Like it would be good to draw into this engine to create. Nonetheless, just having it in your command zone to play on the battlefield is something that can be quite you know, oppressive at times, which is why gut people groan at the idea of me playing gut at the table. Now, when we're building commander decks, I think the best commander decks have a the ability to control the game in some way. Now, there are a lot of cards inside this deck that allow us to take our opponent's creatures. I only got a couple here right now, just so you get the idea. This traitorous greed says until the end of turn, we get to gain control of target creature and opponent controls. Now, we also have this coercive recruiter that basically does the same exact thing. You just take your opponent's creature. Now, the thing is, is that this accomplishes so many things inside this deck and probably is going to be the reason why your friends are groaning a lot at you playing this commander deck it's because we can take our opponent's creatures so that when we have to sacrifice something to gut to create our skeleton, we can sacrifice our opponent's creatures so that we can then put that skeleton onto the battlefield so that it's tapped in attacking. So not only does that allow us to, you know, remove our opponent's creatures, our creatures have evasion. So in order to block a menace creature, you need to have at least two creatures to block a creature with menace. So we're reducing the number of creatures that our opponents have to block with, as well as creating more skeletons to then attack with. And even if your opponents do decide to block the skeletons, we're hitting our opponent's creatures with four or five damage, which means that technically we're going to make that trade. So. When they are blocking, we're removing their creatures as well, which when you add everything up and you put everything together, it creates this strategy that's quite oppressive, you know, which is unfortunately the way I like to play the game. I think it's fun. So we also have an infinite combo inside the deck over here. We have a card called Ugin's Nexus. Now, if this card is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, we exile it and we get to create an extra turn. Now, when you combo this card with a prototype portal, we can essentially tap five mana to tap the prototype portal to then create a token copy of the Ugin's Nexus that we can sacrifice to gut to create a skeleton to then attack with. When we end our turn, we would create the dragon and then get an extra turn off of the Ugin's Nexus so that we can take our next turn and then start the same combo over and over again so that we have infinite turns, infinite skeletons, and infinite dragons, essentially. And we just deal damage until we knock everyone out of the game. Now, some other cards that I thought worked really well with the deck is the Warstorm Surge over here so that every time our creatures are entering the battlefield, we're dealing four damage to whatever we want, basically. And then we also have Jaxus the Troublemaker, which is essentially going to allow us to create token copies of creatures. And then we have Kiki Jiki that's going to allow us to take to make token copies of creatures as well. And what creatures do we want to copy? I mean, we can copy the dragons and the skeletons, but most importantly, we have creatures that enter the battlefield and take our opponent's creatures. So. These are the creatures we want to copy because they basically act as these spells and it puts more power on the board for us to be able to attack with so that whenever we do get the opportunity to put our copy of gratuitous violence on the battlefield to double all the damage that we're doing, we can just quickly just completely end the game. There were so many commanders in 2022. Gut can't be everyone's favorite commander i would imagine everybody on earth would have their own favorite commander so if you have a favorite commander you can leave it in the comment section below let me know because when you comment on videos on this channel it does give you the opportunity to win the monthly giveaway which is this 
Tulane Teller of Tales commander deck that we actually built on a live stream with the community. So if you would like the opportunity to win this commander deck, you can go ahead and comment on this video. And keep in mind, when you join the live streams, when we do go live, I enter a tab in the Discord where it gives you the opportunity to check in for the live stream, which gives you an extra entry into the giveaway. So we have some people, they got a lot of extra entries into this month's giveaway, and they have a pretty good chance of winning that Chulane Commander deck right there. So we do giveaways every single month for Commander decks. And I also sell a commander deck every single month. And this commander deck I'm selling this month is Sequar Deathkeeper. All the money that I get from selling these commander decks through my eBay account will go straight to the channel. And honestly, that's the money I'm using to build the commander decks so that I can give them away so that you guys have fun. OK, so if you enjoyed this video, you can thank me by liking and subscribing to the channel. It genuinely helps me out. And thank you if you do. And if you ever have any questions, you can let me know. And if you would like a community of respectful people to join, to learn how to play a match at the gathering, you can join the Discord. We have over 130 people in the Discord right now. And I'm sure any of them would be incredibly quick to help you with anything that you're looking for, OK? So I hope you have an amazing day. Always remember, eat healthy, okay? Work out every single day. And most importantly, gotta believe in yourself, all right? Peace out, people.